Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Meyer, and in this video, what we're gonna be doing is creating this sub pad sound here in, in Vital that'll sit underneath the lead for the main breakdown section of the track. So this is what the sub pad sounds like by itself. Now it's a very basic sound, but sitting underneath the lead, it makes a big difference. Cool, and before we go ahead and start making the sound, I have a link in the description where you can download this and all the other free sounds and other free production resources. And if you like this sound, I'll have a link to my Vital Bank with Reorder where we have over 130 other cool sounds. Let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and name this channel Subpad and give it a color. I kinda like making these subpads a deep purple. I like making my bases blue and my pads purple, so like a base pad or a sub pad, I try to do deep purple, which is kind of that combination of blue and purple. And to follow the MIDI, what we really wanna do is just grab the base notes of the lead. So the easiest way to do this is to just create um, an empty MIDI track, and I'm gonna drag this out, and Command J consolidates it, that way it's not repeating. So now when I come over here and I mouse over Basically, I'm gonna focus it on this, and we're just gonna pencil in notes that follow the bass note like this. We can decide what octave we wanna do later. I think this is going to be fine for now, but you can see I'm just literally following the bass notes that are being played here. It's not all that complicated to do this once you honestly once you have the melody that you want to use building up all this other stuff is going to be easy and you'll see when i do things like the mid bass this is pretty much they're pretty much all very simple once you have this and the sub pad is going to be the most helpful so duplicate this consolidate it rename this sub pad oops also if i actually spell it right and this one of course is the lead midi so this is just gonna sit underneath the main lead. So that's gonna be the sound that we're gonna be making today. So let's go ahead and start making it. So if I if I just play it now, it's gonna sound terrible because it's just gonna be the, the initialized preset. And let's go ahead and solo this. So the first thing we wanna do is drop this down to a usable octave. I'm gonna drop this down to minus 12. And for this, I'm gonna go and get the basic shapes. I've added this as a favorite by hitting the star button. And the, the shape I want is the sawtooth, like so. And I, ah, that's a good level, I guess. We can adjust it later. We'll mix it in later. First thing, I want this to only be playing one note at a time. So I'm gonna bring the voices down to one. And I want to give this a little bit of attack, and the release is fine, just so we don't get any of that clicking. Then what I want to do is add two voices and bring this unison down quite a bit, so that way we're getting a little bit of, you just kind of have multiple sounds. You want that detuned sound, you don't want it too static. And there might be a little bit too much stereo width here too. So I'm gonna go into the advance and bring the stereo unison down to about 50% to start with. Sounding pretty good. Moving on over to this, I'm going to add a filter first because I wanna be able to shape this sound in the direction that I want. Really, I wanna just do a low pass filter with the cutoff pretty low. And this is going to be just basically, I don't know, just basically to, to filter out the sound. Because once again, our main lead is going to be playing all the high frequencies. So this is just that lower octave support. That sounds good. We're going to go ahead and add in oscillator 2. As before, I'm going to drop this down an octave. One thing I learned is you can hold down shift and drag it, click and drag down, and it'll do it in octaves. And in the same way, we're going to go and add the basic shapes. And this time we're gonna go for kind of a 
one of these pulse waveforms here. They're, in the classic blend, you can blend between them, but this is, this is good enough for now. And we'll just mix this in. It's a very basic sound, but when we add in the lead, we'll be able to hear what this actually adds. I don't really think this needs all that much more. You could open it up more if you wanted to. So let's hear them together. Right now our master is clipping, so what I'm gonna do is turn this down to minus three and turn this down to minus six. So that way these are relatively balanced the same way. So let's listen to this again. The last thing I'm gonna do is turn on this legato, and I'm not gonna adjust the slope, but just add a little bit of glide, and that's just gonna keep these notes from being too clicky. The thing I don't want is it sounding too abrupt when the notes change. So listen to this by itself. sounding good. That's how you make a sub pad. It's not a sound that's really going to win any awards, but it really does help fill out that lower end of the lead when we're there in the breakdown. And basically the way we would do this, if this was an actual breakdown, we take our mod wheel, which we mapped the last time. And what I'm just going to do is go ahead and show these parameters, wiggle the mod wheel a hair, right click and show all the, all the automation. And now I can unconfigure this we can basically use this to open up the mod wheel. And generally what you do is you do a curve like this, where you hold down Alt and you can make it this exponential sort of curve. And we'll duplicate this. So let's take a listen. So it probably starts a little too low, so we want to find our minimum point. Sounds good.